originally from Gallup, I live in Wellsboro now, and I'm married, have three daughters, Allison, 17, Gabrielle, 14, and Abigail is seven. I guess, first of all, was when I was a child, I always went to church with my grandmother. It was more of a social thing, I think, for me back then. I learned about God and everything, but never really grasped it until I got to be older. One thing that really touched me was uh, I was told that I'd never be able to have children. I got pregnant and uh, lost my first child and I uh, got pregnant with my oldest daughter, Allison. Um, I went into labor at 21 weeks and she ended up being delivered at 27 weeks and she only weighed one pound, 15 ounces. Uh, and she was in critical condition for the first six weeks of her life. Uh, they brought us in one night in the middle of the night and told us that she was dying. And uh, we brought a, a preacher in that we had met there in Elmira and I held her the whole night. And they kept coming in and checking on her and she was just doing better and better. And uh, it was just truly a testament to the miracles that God can do. Didn't think I would have any more children. Ended up getting pregnant for Gabrielle, and she was born at 28 weeks, weighing, weighing two pounds eight ounces. Uh, went through the whole long neck you stay again, and um, you know it's just been just those experiences have been such uh, an overwhelming thing to to show you what God can do in your life. That that doctors upon doctors can tell you that you'll never conceive. And yet, you know, you can not only conceive, but have these very ill children that, that shouldn't make it, that do make it. You know, it just seems like any time that there's a need, uh, any time that, that we pray for anything, and, and no, it might not be answered exactly the way you think you want it to be answered, but it just seems like any time there's been a rough time um, in my adulthood, it just seems like he's always been there and provided in some way. I came here, uh, the girls and I came, and uh, we came for the kid carnival, thinking it was probably going to be kind of lame, but I thought, well, maybe the kid, you know, Abby would enjoy it, my seven-year-old, and so we came, and, you know, we just saw all the awesome work that everybody had done for the carnival, and everybody was so friendly, and we just thought, this is where we need to be, um, and everybody has just been so wonderful here. We felt at home right from the first Sunday. It's just really changed our lives. princess in you and uh, there's just a joy and a peace that's, that I have seen uh, in months over you that, that has not been there so I'm just so honored to do this with you and um, best days are ahead still Jackie we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen.
and I didn't really understand it like a lot of kids. And then we started going to different churches. I think it was probably about a while back when my sister's dad was talking about it and we all decided to sit down and talk about it and pray together. And he's created us and helped us through a lot of tough times and he's always there for you when you need him. I'm still growing, I'm still learning about things and I think it, my life will lighten up some as time goes on. baptized and coming to Christ and you're in seventh grade you have got your whole life ahead of you Jesus is with you and in you and for you and he has protected you from a life of really wrong choices you don't have to have all that junk and funk and garbage and stuff you know what you're set free from that and so uh, we're just really excited that we get to do life with you Gabrielle so we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit